Hey guys, what's up? It's about 3 in the morning, I just got back from Evolve, but I thought it'd be fun to give you guys a sneak peek of what is to be the new dungeon, or studio. It's definitely a dungeon. Uh, this house was built in 1905, it's almost 2009, so we're talking about a 104 year old basement. And when you got a 104 year old basement, you've got uh, block walls like this. This has uh, all been painted white. You can see down here some of the the white is flaking off, and uh, to be honest with you, I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm going to leave it, uh, kind of the distressed look on the walls. Now here, you'll see uh, we have drywall done, and it's a knockdown plaster. I've cut in the color. This is the color I'm going with uh, this wall. It's called Mulling Spice. It's the same color I have in my foyer, which you may have seen in the Galaxian video I did. I had an extra gallon. We've got one wall here, so it's, uh, eh, one gallon's more than enough. Got a cutout for a door here, going back to the laundry room, which is now kind of the construction zone. It's quite a mess back here. Uh, but then we have drywall here as well. We're going to get a custom desk built in this corner. Here's the stairwell. And uh, there's a little shelf here right now, but the shelf's coming out, and uh, there will be a uh, custom desk of some kind. My contractor, Brian's going to be building that. Uh, the ceiling is uh, going to be exposed. We were going to do a drop ceiling. But you'd have to be a midget, kind of like Blanca, to maneuver down here with the ceiling dropped that low. So we're just going to leave it. And I think what we're going to do is bomb the ceiling, meaning we're going to spray it. I'm thinking about a, uh, a brown rust color, a little different than the mulling spice, darker. If you guys have ever seen rust penetrating primer, that's the color I'm thinking of for not only the trim here that is uh, kind of a green right now, but for the ceiling itself, which uh, we're going to bomb. And this beam, the whole bit, it's like a, like a green. Somebody had something down here at one time or another. They used a lot of green, and uh, it's, it's ugly. And this post, I thought about getting a post cover for it, but uh, I don't know. There is carpet on the floor, uh, but it's got the plastic on it to protect it from when we were doing the knockdown. It's kind of a brown industrial carpet. I don't know if you can see it very well here, but... Uh, it's a nice carpet. It's got a wonderful pad under it. It feels like you're walking on the moon when you're down here. But uh, yeah, we've got some problems. Got some uh, wind blowing in up here on the top. I've got to get some insulation up in there because it's quite cold down here. I've caulked around the windows and weatherproofed them best I can. I think I'm going to put glass block in here just for security purposes and insulation purposes eventually. But uh, yeah, this is the, uh, the studio under construction. Hopefully we'll have her done. In a week or so, I have to run. Uh, I have to run electricity and uh, get the desks built. There's going to be a desk over in that corner as well. You can see there. You might be able to see in the video. There's a water meter down there, and it's just kind of kind of a eyesore. So we're going to build a cabinet around that and have a little shelf. Maybe we'll put some decks on it or something. Uh, a little workstation, but uh, it'll be all right. It'll be nice, and uh, yeah, hopefully, a couple weeks we'll be up and running down here. So just a sneak peek of the studio. Um, oh, and by the way, if anybody's watching and lives in the area who's an adult who can drive and everything else, uh, I might need some help this weekend. Um, I did bust my hand. It's a little swelled up still. You can see on that one side it's a little puffy. I'm doing all right. I might be okay, but uh, gee, it wouldn't hurt to have an extra hand. Alan Rob has volunteered to help me out for um, Saturday, but it's a little out of his way, and I hate to put him out like that. Uh, he's got a gig. If you are in the area and you want to go gig with me Friday and Saturday, if you got nothing going on, just uh, yeah, send me an email or leave me a comment here and we'll talk. All right? Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.